everyone, my name's Annette and welcome back to Cotto Verdi. Today I've had another of my dahlia deliveries and this one's super exciting because it's filled with dahlias that I haven't grown before and I absolutely can't wait. Some of them are so beautiful, they kind of take my breath away. What I want to do today is describe the dahlias that I've got in this collection here um, from Rose Cottage Plants. And this is a company that I've ordered from before and they have a fabulous range and the quality of the tubers is really good. Um, the only thing with Rose Cottage Plants if you is you have to be super patient because they're a smaller business, um, the dahlias arrive quite late. So it's now getting on towards the middle of April. Um, I think it's the 14th of April today and my tubers have only just arrived and I've already started potting up the tubers that I've got in storage. So these are going to go straight into pots and I'm going to bring them on um, indoors like I do with my other dahlias. I've got loads of videos on my channel about dahlias. If you want to take a look, they're under a playlist called dahlias, so they're easier to find. You just go to the playlist tab on my channel and you'll be able to find one called dahlias and there are loads of videos there. So do take a look if you're interested in catching up on any of those if you haven't seen my videos before. Um, so what I'm going to do is just go through the order that I have today and describe the dahlias to you. I'll put a picture up on the screen or some pictures. It's a real shame that I haven't grown these before and I can't show you what they look like in my garden, but um, if you're interested in that, then subscribe to my channel because I'll definitely be posting videos later on in the season and then you can see how these looked in my garden. Um, anyway, so I'm going to describe them to you and yeah, that's what this video is today. It's just an unboxing of my order from Rose Cottage Plants. The first one is called Platinum Blonde and this is an anemone style dahlia and what that means is it's got this sort of um, the center where the pollen is is mounded it's sort of more of a lump is how I describe it and they tend to be quite fluffy in the middle there and those are called anemone star dahlias. Now um, Platinum Blonde is going to grow to about 80 centimeters tall and I think that's about three foot and the flower size is nine centimeters so three and a half inches and this one is described as having a fuzzy buttercream center which I think sounds delicious and kind of reminds me a bit of a cupcake and then it's got a massive ring of bright white petals um, surrounding this center. So Platinum Blonde is going to blend really easily with like a pastel planting scheme in your garden. It's also got really long stems. It's going to flower abundantly all summer long and it's going to be perfect for something like a summer wedding or, you know, just adding that sort of buttercreamy vibe to your flower arrangements. The next one I'm growing has got a name that I'm probably going to mispronounce and it's called Karma Martin Zwan. Hopefully I've put the name up on the screen so that you can see it. This is a lovely white water lily dahlia. And again, it's going to grow to about 80 centimeters tall, which I think is just under three foot. The flower size on this is slightly larger though. It's 13 centimeters, which is yeah five inches. This one is a lovely glistening white dahlia with a greeny tone at the center and the very central part of the petals has sort of got this lovely light yellow touch to it as well. So because this is a karma dahlia, um, all the karma varieties have been raised with the cut flower market in mind. So with this dahlia, I can expect it to have long stems, abundant flowering, and flowering through a very long season. So um, I think this is going to be really handy to have in my garden. I do have slight worries with growing white dahlias in the garden, simply because um, they are, I find, and I know other people have found it too, but they do attract pests for some reason. I don't know why the white ones are more difficult. And also if they get rained on, which they're going to here in the UK, um, I find that the petals damage slightly more easily. However, it's not going to stop me trying to grow white dahlias. And those are the two white dahlias that I've chosen this year. This next dahlia takes my breath away. The pictures look so beautiful. I don't know why this one appeals to me so much, but it really does. And it's got the most incredible name. It's called Liquid Desire, which I think is just wonderful. This one's kind of unclassified. It's sort of got a bit of an anemone vibe about it, um, but I think it hasn't been properly classified yet. I couldn't find 
um, anything anywhere that said exactly what it is, but I believe some growers um, have it under their anemone flowering dahlia groupings. This one's also going to grow to 80 centimeters tall, so just under three foot, and I think the flower size is about 12 centimeters, which is about four and a half inches. As you can see from the photos, this one has got the most gorgeous, pretty ruffled flowers with like this lovely golden center where the pollen is, which is just perfect for all the pollinating insects. The petals are this sort of reddish purple color and they fade to like a pinky white at the edge. And then there's this second row around the golden center of like little curved petals, which it just looks so cute. I don't know why this one is appealing to me so much, but I can't believe I've got these tubers and I'm going to be growing them in my garden this year. And I can't wait to show you what they really look like. The next one I'm growing is described as a miniature bald dahlia. It's slightly taller, grows to about 90 centimeters. So again, about three foot. And I believe the flower size is about nine centimeters. So that's about three and a half inches. Now the parent of this one, Caitlin's Joy was Ivanetti and I've grown Ivanetti before and it's just got this gorgeous, almost perfect structure. So Caitlin's Joy should have the same. So it's going to be neat little flowers with like a mauvey rose color to them. And I think the edges have sort of got more sort of a goldeny yellow tinge to them. But looking at the pictures online and searching um, this particular one before I ordered it, there does seem to be sort of some variation in the colors. Um, so I can't wait to see what it really looks like, but I think just the structure of this one and the coloration are going to be so pretty and hopefully it's going to be a wonderful addition to my collection. The next one I'm growing is called Phyllis Farmer and it's a water lily dahlia and it's going to grow to 120 centimeters tall so it's definitely going to be one of the taller varieties in my garden. I think 120 centimeters is four foot and the flower size on this one actually isn't as big as you might expect. It's only nine centimeters, so three and a half inches. Phyllis Farmer has pink flowers and they're touched with like a soft creamy yellow, which gives it this peachy glow. And it's described as being very romantic looking, like almost appealing, not looking like a rose, but like the coloration is very rose-like. So I'm looking forward to having that one too. So the next one is also very exciting. It's called Mingus Tony. And as you can see from the pictures, this one is kind of unusual and very reminiscent of a bicolor rose. This is a decorative daily that's going to grow to 100 centimeters. So um, I think that's just over three foot and the flower size is between 10 and 15 centimeters, uh, which is four to six inches. As you can see from the pictures, Minkus Tony is a mid pink color with splashes of red and touches of yellow at the center. So I really like the way this one looks. It really appeals to me because I think it's quite unusual. I don't normally like the really messy looking flowers. I think this one's going to blend beautifully with pinks and reds. And so I think it's going to be a wonderful addition to my daily collection. The next one I'm growing is Princess Nadine. And this is another one that hasn't quite been categorized yet, but again, is sort of anemone-like because it's got this lovely raised center. It could also be an open dahlia, but it's got many petals. And normally the single open dahlias um, have just sort of one layer of petals, but this one's got slightly more. So I love the colors of Princess Nadine. It's sort of these blends of terracotta, with pink and red shades and I think it looks super pretty and I really like having more open dahlias in the garden. Actually I like all dahlias. It's good to have more open dahlias because that will really help with the pollinating insects and um, I just like to be able to attract as many as I possibly can. There's nothing prettier and more pleasing than to see butterflies landing on your dahlias. I don't know why but that is just the epitome of summer for me. So the next one I'm growing is called Pink Runner. I've grown Salmon Runner before. So this is another decorative dahlia and it's going to grow to 90 centimeters tall. So about three foot and the flower size is 11 centimeters. So about four and a half inches. So Pink Runner is a really warm shade of pink with peachy yellow undertones and it's got 
no purple in it so it's like a really true pink and I think that's going to be super useful to have in my garden. Later in the season Pink Runner apparently has more of the coral undertones so this is I mean a lot of dahlias change coloration through the season um, and I particularly notice this with things like Café Olé Royale like when they come out first in this you know in the early season they're more deeply pink and later on in the season there's more sort of variation in color and they're a bit paler so there are I mean that's just one of the dahlias there are loads of dahlias that really do change color through the seasons the next one I'm growing is called iced tea absolutely beautiful decorative dahlia and it, this one's really quite tall it grows to 140 centimeters so I'm definitely going to have to stake that and it's about 55 inches and the flower size is quite large too it's 14 centimeters uh, which is about five and a half inches so iced tea has got these really gorgeous raspberry peach blooms and apparently it's uh, it flowers in abundance so I'm expecting lots of really long stem flowers um, right through the season that are going to be perfect for flower arranging and if you just look at the color of this particular dahlia then you can see that um, it's just going to you know blend or you know accentuate all the other sort of coppery pinky colors that I'm going to have in my dahlia collection the last one from my collection today is called bell floor and this I find that a bit of a tongue twister anyway it's a gorgeous decorative dahlia it's going to grow to about 90 centimeters tall about three foot and the flower size I think is nine centimeters yep to about three and a half inches so this one's quite an unusual dahlia it's got these gorgeous twists to each of the petals which kind of gives the flower just this lovely movement and um, I think Penhill Watermelon is another one that just has these gorgeous sort of twisty curvy petals so I'm really looking forward to growing this one apparently the stems are really long and strong so it's good for cutting so Bellflower is this sort of lovely bright pink with like subtle hints of apricot and gold and plum on these lovely twisty petals and it's going to make it really easy to incorporate into planting schemes or into flower arranging as I said I'm going to pot these up straight away into individual pots and start bringing them on um, indoors in the light and um, I have made a video about that as I said so do take a look if you want to know how I do that um, but I'm not going to show that in today's video um, because I just think it'll be too long um, anyway I really hope you've enjoyed seeing what's come in this collection I do have another collection coming from Halls of Hedden and those are daily a cutting so they're like little plug plants that they grow on and then they send them out when they're ready and that should be with me in a few days and I'll go through that if that's of interest to anybody um, but for now that's it for today I really hope you've enjoyed this video and just seeing a few more dahlias that I'm adding to my collection in case you didn't know I love dahlias and so I am super excited about any new dahlias that I can add to my collection I just I'm gonna have to find somewhere to plant them anyway thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time it's going to blend really easily with plast plastel plastel pastel <laughs> stop laughing it's going to the last one that I'm unpacking today is called bell floor bell floor it's kind of difficult to say this is a gorgeous decorative dahlia grows to about 90 centimeters tall again about three foot I'm sorry about the noise <laughs> that's quite annoying <laughs> it's a gorgeous decorative dahlia oh my goodness that's annoying but I think this one is just going to blend beautifully with blue with blues it grows to about 90 centimeters so again about three foot and I believe the sorry magpie caught my eye <laughs>